Hi, my name is Ron, and today we are going to perform a brute force attack on a login form. Our objective for this video is to open burp suit, capture the traffic, then send it to the intruder. Intruder is a function in burp suit that allows you to make a brute force. Copy passwords from a GitHub, then we will start the boot force and wait for the results. Let's try to type some uh, password and see if a burp suit uh, will catch it. We can see that burp suit uh, captured the password. Let's uh, now send this uh, request to the intruder to start the boot force. We can see that uh, Burpsuit marked the value with special characters. When uh, Burpsuit marked the value with special characters, that means this value is going to be brute forced. So let's clear all those markings. Let's mark only the password because we want to brute force the password. Let's uh, brute force uh, the login admin. Let's choose a payload. As you can see, we can uh, copy in here the payload. Let's browse the internet and uh, choose uh, some uh, password list. We can see that there are many password lists available. Let's uh, choose the 10K. Let's copy the, the word list, pass it in here, and then let's uh, start the boot force. We can see that uh, the boot force uh, started. We will wait a bit to see uh, if we can identify the correct password. We can see that uh, most of those passwords have a identical uh, length. Let's sort it by a length, and we can see that there is one exception. The exception is, uh, is test. Let's see what is the request. We can see that login is admin. Test is the password. The response we see is a successful. Let's try it now login with those credentials. Let's say uh, put admin and test as a password. Let's forward the packet. And we can see that the uh, login is successful. Now, Burpsuit is a very slow tool to perform brute force the community edition. If you want, you can buy the premium edition and there the brute force is much faster. The alternative is to use a tool named Hydra to perform a brute force. And you need to specify the failed string so it can identify when, a, when the brute force failed and when it succeed. Thanks and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good day.